Hey everyone, welcome to our series, Men vs. Women in Fitness. We created this series to dive deep into the fascinating differences between men and women when it comes to fitness, health, and achieving those dream physiques. Have you ever wondered why some aspects of fitness seem to come easier for men while women excel in others? We often hear a lot of myths and generalizations about how men and women should train differently. But we're here to break down the science behind these differences. This series is all about exploring these distinctions and giving you a better understanding of how our bodies work so that you can optimize your fitness journey no matter who you are. If you're excited to learn more about these fitness insights, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Now let's get into it. Both men and women can build muscle and get shredded, but it's often easier for men due to a combination of hormonal, physiological and lifestyle factors when it comes to absolute numbers. So let's explore why men typically find it easier to achieve a more muscular and a defined physique compared to women. First, let's talk about fat homeostasis or how our bodies manage fat. Women naturally carry more body fat than men. On average, women have a body fat percentage between 18 to 20% while men typically have a lower range of about 10 to 15%, talking about the healthy range. This difference exists because women's bodies are designed to support pregnancy and breastfeeding, requiring extra energy reserves in the form of body fat. Because women have to maintain a higher fat percentage for these biological reasons, they need to go through more aggressive fat loss strategies to reach the lower body fat levels required for that shredded look. For men, getting leaner and showing muscle definition is often easier due to their naturally lower starting point. Next, let's look at how men and women store body fat differently. This plays a major role in how shredded they really appear. Men typically store fat in the abdominal areas. So when they lose fat, it's often more noticeable around the midsection, which can make their muscles appear more defined and leaner. Women, on the other hand, store fat in the areas like hips, thighs and glutes. This distribution means that even when women lose fat, it might not be as visually apparent in terms of muscle definition, especially in the midsection. While we can't specifically target where we lose fat, sorry, spot reduction is a myth, overall, fat loss affects these areas differently, leading to a varied aesthetic results. Lastly, let's talk metabolism. Men's metabolic rates are generally higher than women, and there are a few reasons why. Men typically have more muscle mass than women because of higher testosterone levels, more muscle mass means a higher resting metabolic rate. So men burn more calories even at rest. This contributes to a large difference in metabolic rates between men as well as women. But it's not just muscle mass. Men usually have a slightly higher basal body temperature and better cardiovascular efficiency. They also tend to have higher heart rates at rest, which means they burn more calories throughout the day. These metabolic differences give men an edge when it comes to burning fat and getting shredded. So there you have it. While men generally find it easier to get shredded due to hormonal, physiological and metabolic factors, it doesn't mean women can't achieve impressive muscle definition. It just might take more efforts or a little longer journey. It's all about understanding these differences and tailoring your approach to fit your individual needs. Both men and women can reach their fitness goals effectively by knowing how their bodies work. Thanks for tuning in to our first episode of Men vs. Women in Fitness. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell and stay tuned for our next video where we'll dive into how fat distribution differs between men and women. See you next time.